Aaron, your offense puts up seven. You have a four-run lead heading into that ninth inning. How do you digest what happened? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we need victory. So anytime you lose, it's tough. But but obviously, when you have, you know, the day in control for the most part, um, a lot of good things happening out there. You know, uh, credit to them for putting some really good at-bats together, starting with Gurriel, the first one to kind of get them started. And then they put some balls in play that um, – you know, Fortis hits the ball, kind of seeing eye there, and then and then we're not able to handle the comebacker. So, uh, difficult way to end a series, uh, but we got to move on. Considering where you guys are in the season, the uphill climb you have, just how crushing can a loss like this be for the team? How do you move past it quickly? We have to. We got. We're going to play a great team tomorrow, and we got to be ready to go. Period. So, uh, we know we got to rack up wins, and uh, as tough as this one is to swallow, you got to move move on from it. Clay Holmes has, has been so good for you for the not only lately, but for most of the season. Just what were you seeing from him in that ninth inning? Not a lot different, honestly. I thought Gurriel put together a great at bat. Obviously, with a big lead there, three two, you don't want to lose him, and he's able to kind of lift one. He comes right back and gets a strike out of birdie. You know, Fortes puts the ball on the ground, but kind of has eyes on him. The walk of Chisholm, you know, that's the one that hurts a little bit, and then not handling the comebacker, or, you know, that might be a double play ball, even if he doesn't go after it, too. So, I mean, that's the razor thin margin sometimes. Um, so it wasn't like, you know, a meltdown of control or whatever. It was just, uh, you know, a little bit of lack of execution. Was there any consideration in walking Berger there to set up a no. play? No, um, no, not 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 to you know bring the walk and play with Solaire coming up next. Um, so no. Does that play need to eat that throw? No, I think if I think if he gets himself in position, he's got to play. Um, so um, you know, I think in a perfect world, he probably lets it go, and it's and it's it's probably a double play to to Anthony. But, you know, that's a tough thing to react to in the moment. You know, you, you see it, you know, it's a play he makes. I thought Cole was good, you know, grinded. You know, they worked him pretty hard there in the few, first few innings. Made a lot of big pitches, a lot of big 3-2 pitches. Um, you know, Cutter continues to be a big pitch for him. I love how he navigated the little bit of trouble he found himself in the course of the day, especially there in the sixth to finish it off. Um, so another another strong one for Garrett. How many of these types of losses is realistic for a team to take? You used in your time here gut punches yeah. to describe losses like these. Yeah. You guys have had quite a few this year. Yeah, I feel like in regards to losses like this, like 21, we had a was was where we had a ton of them like that, um, you know. So, you know, they never feel good, obviously. Um, but we don't have a lot of time. We got to get back on the horse tomorrow and find a way. What happened with uh, He just said said the ball was down. Really as simple as that. It's kind of a.